was weird. The hatches were open. I was shooting it. The engine's gone critical. All right. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service room at the top of the engine room. It leads to a Class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! <laughs> Whoops, I, I fell off. Oh no. I'm at this checkpoint. Yeah, that was weird. I don't think the I don't think it was covered when I shot the first two. Oh really? Why, 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 game? Why? It makes no sense, game. It makes no sense, game. I okay. Let me let me let me say what I did in order for people to understand. Okay. Usually checkpoints happen whenever you do so. Whenever you complete an objective, I completed the objective. I blew it up. I waited 10 seconds. I thought it would give me a checkpoint as soon as I blew it up. And after she was done talking, she wasn't done talking. Um, and then this. Why did I spawn here? Why does that make sense? Now I know not to jump off it, that's for sure. Is it retracting? Is it retracting? No, it's not. When you press A. Oh! No! No! They knocked me off! They knocked me off! They knocked me off even though it was clear. System rockets will be removed in 16 cycles. Yeah, it's like. Originally, when they, when they made the game, it's like they forgot. Uh, to make this actually clear if I got something in order to make this clear. The checkpoint, fine. The, the um, jumping, maybe. Are you kidding me? Don't kill me. Thank you for the boost, actually. Okay, there's one way to press this. There we go. Okay, it's open. It's open. It's definitely open. It what? Okay, who would say that was closed? Now it's closed. I gotta get my shield back. Now it's open. Um. What is happening again? And now it's closed. Not acceptable. Now it's open. You must surrender the construct. No, don't close. Maybe it's just it takes four shots the last one. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. Yeah, maybe it just takes four shots to the last one for whatever reason. It leads to a class seven service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! That makes no sense to me. It goes from one to three to three to four. Grunts, no, grunts, no, back, back grunts, back. I don't, want, I don't like you, grunts. I don't like your explosionness. Oh, fairly fatal. Okay, yeah, that was just weird. Don't, but I do. 
400 million degrees on Swan, don't you? And it's what makes it ramping. I don't think I ever made the stop. Yeah, I don't think I ever made the stop here, Dave. Nope. Ah, uh, ooh, I saved it. You're dead too. Come on, there we go. There we go. It should be a nice drive. It should be a very nice drive to, uh, yeah, to the end, to foremost, because, uh, I'm just going to fly right down and going to grapple us. In their adverse way, they drop off four cogs. Yep. And then we're going to end, and then I'm going to say my greetings, and then say, see you in a second, and then we're going to move on to Halo 2. Yeah, next one. I just made sure uh, I was with pants off the top. Oh, this is not good. Now go on air and whale. Make it, make it, make it good. You guys do realize this won't blow up in like three minutes, right? I guess not. Oh snap. Turn around, turn around and slow accelerating more talk. There we go. That could have been bad. No! Ah! Make it! Wait, stop! This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Like the angle, like they're supposed to be in the war talk when you're supposed to be doing that. Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Random explosion. Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drive gets. I'm definitely going to restart that one. This war talk has, is, is too slow. When negative, you're negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown. When it reaches the it will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't. What in the world? What in the world? What just happened? It's like I squished them and then they blew up. What do you mean?
Man, this is going much worse than the first time for whatever reason. This is not happening. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. Try to stay from where the ramps are. Give you more place to uh, fish camp. Plus, you can keep your acceleration. You want to stay on the left this time. I couldn't, I couldn't save that. Oh, I'm not going to save this either. It's just so floaty, it's just, it's like on ice skates. It has no traction. Of course, in this game, only. A better way to get through the hydrostick. I just didn't do it that time. Cortana to Echo 419. Request extraction now on the double. Affirmative, Cortana. We'll have a hit now. Don't mess up. Here. I can do that. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. I'm hit. Mayday. Mayday. Bail out. Bail out. Echo 419. Press B. Calculating alternate escape route. Shows one long sword fighter is still docked in launch bay seven. If we move now, we can make it. As your way, no B won't work because first being in and use parachute lock and barrel failed and you want to die from an explosion. Right. Yeah, that won't work. We can still run away for it. We're not gonna just run away. We got no choice. Me coming through. Oh, you got no frick, you got no horn. Coming through, sorry. Max speed. Eating the super booster, I don't have one, oh no. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not okay. I'm one flip. Oh, escape moving. Oh, this ain't gonna work. This is not kosher. Not kosher. I didn't kill myself. I'm inside a wall. I'm my face. Negative, negative. We uh, what? Destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. What? Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drive detonates. What the hacker? The shit point didn't show up. There. In all the times I played this, there's always been a shit point when 419 explodes. Always been. Now there's that. Why in the world? Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drive detonates. We need to evac now. Activating final That just makes no sense. There should be a shit point, but there isn't. Will they should be, and that mean by they should have made it. Yeah, that was probably my fault. I, I didn't think it was a ground. I should be, I mean, it literally is there, it just didn't trigger for me this time, for whatever reason. Get in. I get, I, if for some reason, I guess I can't get in with a six on the screen. 
Hey, this is not working anymore. Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to get back now. Activating final countdown. And there's no way to get that perfectly unless you take your time. And this is not a place to take your time. of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here. Yeah, unlike other Halo games, this uh, this one actually means that timer. The timer actually means it w the ship will blow up at that time. It will die. Well, I don't know if it actually blows up. But, uh, yeah, you will die. Go this way. Slide it. There we go. Make it, make it. Didn't turn in time. Yeah, that's another thing that I love in Halo Reach. The guy, your guy, doesn't want to get out at all. I like in this game where he gets out just in case he might roll over. I think that when it actually does. Of course, in other Halo games, we fix that, but. Makes uh, playing, which makes doing a marathon like this kind of important. You know, to do it in order of release, so you actually see um, what the you actually see um, the progress of this series. Which, when I do complete Halo 3, I will make a playlist with in, in chronological order. All these, uh, all these playlists in chronological order. From uh, Halo Wars 1 to um, Halo 3, whatever. Maybe Halo 3, like 50. And I'm going to do the same thing for 4, for Halo 4, 5, 6, Wars 2, Halo 2, Anniversary, whatever. Except I will place, well, except I will place my original Halo 2 plays in with the playthrough of the anniversary. If they ever come out. Very solemn, prepared to fail, being up that ramp. See, he didn't come out that time. I don't Full care. Position here. I like long shores, but I like long shores. Echo 419. Echo 419. She's gone. <laughs> Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one long sword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. I think they heard of the uh, countdown tower in order to go with me. Shotgun reload. 
just to, just to smite the game. They can kill me, they will kill me. I have only two person of them running, running, running. See your suckers. Ah, oh, yeah, We're guys. cutting it close. It's not close enough. We must be within five seconds. Have you never watched a movie before? Here we go. Oh, yeah. See you later, suckers. Get blown up with the ship and the ring. Yeah, here. Yeah. Get the Super Bowl stars. And we're out of the atmosphere. And they're out of time, and now they're out of life. I don't care. Close in it. Fancy a look. I know. I'm recording this on a day, but I will still like a look. Ah, uh, yeah. How many dollars did that take to create? A couple hundred million, trillion. You know, you know, like that. Four hundred million, trillion. Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Except Tilly Jones. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. They left. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. One game. A trilogy to make. And another trilogy. Not to mention our each. And Halo Wars. An expansion pack, yes. That's it, except for a legendary thing which I did not get since I didn't play this as a legendary. And the credits, of course. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's Halo 1 Anniversary, people. I hope you liked it. Did you like the fact that Mike Mike was on the fritz? Or you didn't like it? Oh, you hated that part, but whatever. Okay, so, uh, Halo Anniversary. They did, they did an amazing job doing what they set out to do. Was not miss the game period and just update the graphics. Birth of a Spartan! Yes, I have never played this on normal before. I updated it. So, here's the credits, and you guys can sit down and watch it if you want to watch it. So, yeah, like I was saying, yep, yeah, um, 343 uh, did what they wanted to do. They set out and they wanted to uh, make it look like this game was made. And for the 8th generation of consoles, instead of being made for uh, the um, early 7th gen, also known as for the Xbox and GameCube and PS2 era. Yeah, uh, Halo 1 was the launch game for the Xbox, which is probably one of the reasons why Xbox is so popular today. Yes, and another reason why um, first person shooters are popular for today. Now, um, yeah, the graphics are. For Halo game, amazing. For any game, they're they're better than average. They're eight, they're eight graphics, yes. They're much better than average. They're as good as, let's say, uh, um, let's say Skyrim and uh, Gears of War three, and you know Forza. And yeah, well, uh, yeah, they um, also. Also, adding terminals and skulls, that is also a great idea. You don't really mess with the game by adding just the skulls and the terminals on things that already exist inside the game, so they didn't, you know, they didn't mess with their first idea, but they still added some value to people who did have Halo 1 and still do have Halo 1, or for people like me who have Halo 1 on, on demand, because it's still an on demand game, if for every reason you want just a classic Halo 1, or you just want to play the multiplayer. Or you want to use it for machinima purposes, like references. Okay, 
Joker, Batman vs. Blue was filmed, like, I think three months after Halo 1 released. And they filmed, filmed it on Halo 1. So in case you want to go back and do, like, a flashback or something in a modern-day machine, more like a machine when using Halo Reach or uh, Halo 4, or Halo 5 or Halo 6, you know, depending on what time and person you are watching this in. Yeah. Basically, all the things that I don't like about the game that I complained about in this thing are just things that are just coming from Halo 1. Being a, being a new a new style of controls and, a new, and a, one of the very few games to have that controls. Because the first person shooters, like, there was Wolfenstein Doom for the computer, and then there was GoldenEye for uh, Nintendo for Nintendo 64, and that was basically it for first person shooters on the console for anyone that or anything that actually did stuff. Yeah, sure, there's probably some more. Probably five or ten more per console, but no, probably more than that. But even then, it's, it's Halo that brought the modern controls, but it's easier to understand controls. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's definitely the Metal Bunners, definitely. Yeah, there's definitely the Metal Bunners. I mean, if you play an older Metal Bunner on a PS2. No, wait, no, that makes the generation of Halo 1 game. But even still, if you play, if you would play that, uh, uh, play it on a uh, PS3, you, you still find the controls are a little weird. So it's just weird. They're just not, just not how, how, how you, f you feel them should be. Like, you know, in the one where it's just generalized controls, I would say. Like even now, Call of Duty uses it, and Battlefield uses it, and now Mill Honor even uses it. And next uh, Gears game, I. I've been told, or it's been a rumor, that it's going to be used in the next Gears game. And it's already being used in uh, Ghost of Recon uh, Future Soldier. By next Gears game, I mean Judgment. So. Clear throat. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give this game for a modern game. For a game, for a game that was just a re- Graphicalizing and nothing more, except adding of skulls and multiplayer. That's pretty much all they did: skulls, multiplayer, and uh, terminals. That's basically all they did: is just add the new graphics, which is good. Which is good. That's just how remakes should be, except if you're wanting to restart a franchise, like said, like say Mel Runner or XCOM. And then you can't. Re then you don't use remakes. You will choose. Uh, I mean, like, you won't use retextures and trick graphics, basically, with this game. You would basically remake the game, throw out all the old elements, you know, instead of, uh, instead of the tank controls, like they were in this game, you know, you know, add, um, Halo 3 or Halo 4 tank controls. You add the new stuff, and, and mix it with it, so it won't be the original, but it will have the original's name for a new generation. Unlike in this game, where it's just, you just put new graphics on it. They even added the where you hit the butt back button and you can go into old mode. Which is also a nice feature. I love that feature. You can you can see the difference between modern day and old day without having to go back and actually play the old game. So if you wanted to just play in old mode for whatever reason, you can do that. You know, see what everything looks like. And now see what they do look like. Like I did periodically in this playthrough. It again. So yeah, I'll definitely give this a, a good solid eight. Yeah, just because they did a fantastic job on it. Now, in order for it to be a perfect game in my rating system, it, it will have to be more or less, um, you no, know, perfect for my taste. That is all the guns. It has, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's sandbox. You can manipulate anything. You can drive anything you freaking want. There could be an F-22 sitting there in a golf cart. You can drive both. You know, a game like that, it has to be a gigantic, it has to be at least a big island. Yeah, that, that's the kind of game that I want, that I wish for. It can or could be an MMO taking place on the entire continent, but, you know. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, that, that would be my perfect game.
And to get a nine from it, you have to be pretty good. You gotta, you gotta have everything almost perfect. You know, because it, it's nine, it's almost perfect. The five, it's just standard. It's just everyone does it. If you do it worse than five magically, then it sucks. If you do it worse than the five game, then it sucks. Like, there's no improvements in the five games, just the five. No, no, grab, it just, just the graphics you move up on, or the gameplay you move up on. You can only do better or worse than that, you can't, you know, it's not five. So enough of me going on and on about that, so, um, yeah, that pretty much does it, and, um, for those of you watching in the now, or watching in the future, Game I'm going to build will be uh, Hill 2, and I'll be starting that. Um, let's give it a good. Let me, let me look at my calendar over here. On my computer. Uh, let's say I'll be starting that. A good old um, 20th, uh, 20th next. Yeah, I will giving it. Uh, I'll start at the 20th. I'll start Hill 2 to 20th, and then I'm going to go halfway through the campaign to where you know, see if something happens, I can spoil it. Yeah, I can spoil it in case you never realize it. That's so, um, yeah, um, and they're going for the Halo Reach multiplayer part. You know, uh, oh, yeah, also was a neat idea adding the anniversary map pack and adding uh, the DLC so you can download it and play it on Halo Reach. And they, since they didn't do it like Halo 3, like ODST did it for Halo 3, where they actually had the multiplayer disc that you put, they put into the computer, you put into the computer, no, put into the Xbox and just play Halo 3 multiplayer with all the maps. So yeah, I think these credits go on and on and then reset, so uh, I think I'm going to end it here. So uh, thanks for watching, firstly, um, this is Baron Joe Triple Nine, uh, if, um, uh, le please leave a comment, uh, uh, tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what could be changed, tell me, you know, basically anything you want to tell me, do, uh, start a random comment thread or something, I don't really care, be sweet, I love those, uh, also, uh, like or dislike if you re if you liked the video not even really if you just liked it like if you disliked it for whatever reason dislike it you know because if you if you if you're looking through videos if you see a big red bar you know not to watch it because it's because a lot of people say it sucked or if you see a big green bar you know to watch it it's it's a safety thing uh, so um yeah that's yeah the, um yeah um so um uh, I guess See you in a second.